Welcome back to Our Venture Begins. Today we are going to be driving the scenic Newfound Gap Drive in the Smoky Mountains with a few stops along the way. Hope you enjoy. Chimney Tops is a mountain in central Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. It is 4,724 feet above sea level. We're at Mountain Farms, North Carolina. It feels like stone. Yeah. It's even got a natural hole in it. How far down does it go? Okay, you guys, we gotta see how far it goes. Right? <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's supposed to stay 50 yards away. I will be taking pictures that will go south across the river, so please, please. <laughs> The Mountain Farm Museum is a unique collection of farm buildings assembled from locations throughout the park. Visitors can explore a log farmhouse, barn, apple house, spring house, and a working blacksmith shop. Flax, uh, which is on that board right there. Um, their most common is wool. Cotton was a little uh, hard to grow here, it was a little too wet. Uh, flax had a very long processing time to get actual linen out of it, so they didn't usually um, have any of these as like a big cash crop, they might just have a little bit in their garden. Now wool was much easier, um, so you get it from your sheep. The sheep didn't even live on the farm, they released them out into the mountains, so they lived out there. Bring them back, shear them, wash it, dye it if they wanted to, uh, and then you were all set uh, to do uh, carding, which is these two things. So you would take something like this, your cotton or your wool, line it up here and you would just pretty much brush it through so it would be one cohesive uh, way. So line up your fibers, you get something nice and smooth like this and ultimately you want to get this really twisted up to become yarn. So they might use a drop spindle which would attach here and it would be kind of lumpy like this and you'd spin it and it would drop and it would twist that up and then you would wind it up, keep going. Now this is kind of time consuming um, in the winter though, um, they have children, so if you lived on this farm, you might be drop spinning. Uh, the, the kids would take the seeds and stuff out of the cotton and the flax too. But ultimately, they could also use something like this. So the spindle would actually move to here and the yarn would be wrapped around here to here. Now the yarn on the wheel isn't actually being spun, it's just the power of it. So you spin it and while this spins, you have your, your piece of uh, um, carded wool like or cotton and you're feeding it into it that so that would spin it and then you would spin it the other <laughs> way to wrap it around and then you just kept nice. going so it would be much easier you could power it with this walking <laughs> wheel or high wheel it just depends where you were what they called it um, to get your yarn now eventually when you get your yarn um, you're not there yet you do have to use a loom to weave it into cloth so it took quite a few steps for them um, to eventually get cloth for clothing or for quilting okay. which they very much needed during the winter time here so uh, mostly done by the women but of course they'd round up the children and have them uh, partake in it too cool very nice thank yeah. you thank you mm -hmm. Well, a lot of 
Blacksmith Forge. So that's a big, uh, that's one of the number one first things you want to learn in a blacksmith shop. Don't grab it's it. Resist, yeah, resist the urge to try to catch something <laughs> that's oh. falling. Because even something that isn't glowing red, still pretty hot. It isn't glowing red might still, might still be hot. It's called black hot. It goes up to 800 degrees. Whoa. Uh, Lawrence can whale. Isn't that similar? Welding? So, you can weld in blacksmithing, and it's a little bit different than what you are used to with oxyacetylene or stick or MIG or TIG welding. We are Marshall. in the Cherokee Indian Reservation. And um, we ran into a car show. The Cherokee Cruise. You got a pretty color on that one. Oh, it is very red. I contemplated doing the Mustang this color. I almost did. taking the pathway down to I think it was called Mingus. Um, it's a historic grist mill right here in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. 
I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free Right now we're coming back from the mill. It was really nice. You guys should come and check it out. Yep. Bye.